Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice, beautiful links. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there you go. Now when that's out of the way, we will keep working on this shit. So what were we even working on? Yeah, I, I actually wanted to fix a few things here. Um, I wasn't doing this correctly. So let me just tell you something. Um... The resize function for vector for a vector object is obvious or is, is apparently uh, something that actually resizes the internal array and fills it up with default values um, with stuff basically. So what I want to do is um, um, actually instead of doing the pushback, I'm going to do it right in here in the resize function itself. So it's going to fill it up for me. Another thing you can do is to actually use reserve. Uh, if you just want to reserve some stuff like increase the capacity. Um, and then kind of, yeah, I'm not 100% sure of how reserve works, but it doesn't actually increase the size of the internal array. So um, I'm pretty sure that's at least that's what I read. But anyway, we'll, what we'll do here is we'll just do a comma. And then we'll copy whatever is in this, in that resize function. I'm just going to remove the whole pushback function here. So this is just basically going to resize it, uh, resize the map vector and fill it with these objects. And the same thing for this. So I'm just going to copy whatever's in here. Go ahead and put that right there. And remove the pushback. And as you guessed it, uh, I'm going to resize this and fill it with a bunch of null pointers. And that should work now. So I'm just going to remove this. That should work. Um, and then we add the tile, which is new tile. Okay, so that should work. Let's just run this. I know it's a little waste of time, but at least running it is going to tell us that we didn't do that all wrong. Uh, yeah, it is still working. So that's a good sign. Quit. No crashes. Good. Then we're good to go. All right. So now we're going to remove a tile. So we want to just make sure this works before we start adding all the texture sheets and all that stuff so we can change textures. Um, and the way this is going to work is going to ex work exactly the same way. So we're going to remove a tile at a position. So take... Oh, this should be three indices up here as well. Three indices from the mouse position in the grid and remove a tile at that position if the internal blah, blah, blah allows it. So that's good. There we go. Let's just go ahead and put that into remove tile as well. Um, good, 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 good. You could actually just have one function with a Boolean saying if it should be remove or add or a, a uh, something like that. But whatever, we'll have two different functions. Makes it a little easier to keep track of. Now, copy whatever you had and add. All right, because that's what we're going to do. So we're going to see if we're within the bounds. And if we are within the bounds, we're going to see if it's not null, if there is actually something there, okay to remove tile. So if there is something there, we're going to just go ahead and delete this map at that position. Okay, we're just going to delete that. And then we're going to set that to a null, because that is very, very important for us. Do not forget this part, because we're always checking for null. Remember, um, remove tile. Okay, so it's just a debug out print or print out. Um, Basically, this is this is very, very important. So make sure you do that. Because for example, here, we're checking it for null. Sorry about that. We want to have a null in here. Um, if it's not null, we'll render it. But and also here, we're checking if it is null. But if we don't set it to null here, this tile position will be completely useless. It'll have some kind of random uh, nasty value, nasty, stinky value. We don't want that. We don't like nasty, stinky stuff. So we're not going to do that. Um, so that's good. There you go. So now we can remove tiles. And if we go to editor state, CPP, so just go down here 
and let's go into init uh, or editor where is it update update I think it's update editor input okay good so add a tile to the tile map uh, else if all right so we're just gonna paste that actually why did I do it like that wait uh, here we go hopefully this will work just copy paste this in here right rugged straight up right I think what right can I spell today okay there you go uh, and then just remove no just copy this control X that in there as well and this is going to be remove remove a tile from the tile map okay very very nice very very nice all right all right by the way am i even doing this correctly yes i am all right uh remove tile at that position as that position okay so we're gonna run this one more time see what's going on and hopefully we don't get any crashes okay so that does work it only removes a tile if we look at our debug print I'm, I'm clicking right click but it's only removing a tile when we're on a tile that is actually there so now you can actually remove the tiles from where they are okay and hopefully this should work for you guys if you change your grid position now remember this uh, I know a lot of people have been talking in the discords lately about just this problem uh, the grid positions just remember that you should always when you're working with that always make sure it's updated when you change it there should only be one variable that keeps track of how big the grid size is all right and when you change that variable everything else should change so don't make sure you don't have a lot of constant everywhere like if you're dividing with 50.f somewhere you know you don't want to have those constant literal values you always want to have variable values have one global constant whatever you want just make sure it's one that keeps track of the grid size and then everything will work for you so just remember that that is a key key point in this I will be making um, SFML tutorial videos on that just how grids work and how to create a good grid all that stuff but we'll get yeah that's a whole different topic but I'm just saying that for those of you who are interested uh, but anyway so there we go we have that now one thing we're gonna have in our tile map if we go ahead and go to tilemap.h is we're going to have a sf text texture pointer texture um, tile sheet should we call it tile sheet um, texture sheet just to keep it very yeah just to keep it very uh, specific here so just tile texture sheet and that is a pointer um, this tile texture sheet equals um, some texture sheet which we can select textures from um, yeah so that's that's pretty much what that's going to be I'll just set it to null for now so that uh, okay so we just have a few minutes let's see so what I did actually you know what what I did was this is the wrong folder let me just show you I went in here straight up made the most beautiful grass texture you could ever find so in resources images I created a tiles folder and I added this grass one dot PNG so you can add anything in here just make sure it's a hundred a hundred so if we go into pop properties you'll see that it is uh, 100 times 100 pixels all right is this very basic grass texture I just made this quickly in some online editor program using diffuse and then I sent it to a seamless texture creator uh, which made it seamless for me uh, but it doesn't have a lot of detail I'm not a artist so I can't really make beautiful grass textures and stuff I could but it would take a long time but anyway now we have this grass texture so let's just see if how we had stuff in game so we had a 
state so the state itself the editor state here we go it has buttons and stuff like that game state how does that work okay it has one texture for the player and it has a tile map so i think the tile map itself should load the texture okay so let's go back into tile map let's remove the texture pointer here and let us say texture sheet dot load from file this is just to try it out it's very very simple trying stuff out so uh, resources make sure this is correct resources images tiles grass one dot png that's what i call it like i said you can find it on the github link in the description box you got all the code all that stuff so just go ahead and go in there go to my repositories repositories and you'll find it so there you go now we load this texture in um load if let's make an if statement around this just to make sure uh, if this does not work, I'm just going to do a little std cout uh, error tile map failed to load tile texture sheet. Uh, so the way I write error codes, I don't know if you've been following me on that, uh, is I always write what it is, the error which class it is in or which file uh, and then what just happened so basically that's what i do you can do a throw and catch here as well thingy um exception here but uh but yeah i just don't want to crash the program it might crash anyway but still this at least it will print it out anyway we have the texture here it's not technically a sheet right now it's just one little texture we will get to making it into a sheet so don't worry about that but anyway, just to try this out, we'll create, when we add a new texture, we're just going to send this in, uh, this texture sheet, like that. And that will basically just take a reference. So go to tile.h, go to your tile constructor and say sf texture reference uh, texture okay very very simple texture reference texture okay now do that in the cpp file as well and then all we're going to do is this shape dot set texture now this is a rectangle shape so it takes a pointer to a texture so you want to use the address operator texture like that so we're going to get that we could just send this in as a pointer but it doesn't really matter. It's this is nice. So there you go, texture, and we'll set that texture in tile map. It should be loaded, and let's just go ahead and try this out. So at least we'll get some type of a texture when we add a tile now. Uh, editor, yeah. So we're getting the grass tiles here. Let's just do one thing. Uh, let's remove the whole uh, outline color. Let's just comment that out in case we want to use that later on so there you go also set fill color yeah we'll keep it at white in case we fail to load a texture it's a good idea to have a background color that isn't black um okay so there you go it's kind of seamless i don't like it obviously it's not good like i said i'm not a a designer or a not a designer sorry artist um but yeah it does it does work so you can remove tiles with right click you can add tiles and uh yeah pretty much pretty much working somehow uh, somewhat and then it doesn't load into our game yet but our game is still here with the animations and everything uh looks good so there you go guys and girls that's it for this video we got a texture loading some fix some stuff and yeah just don't remember to or just do remember please do remember to uh set this to null in here it's very important but there you go guys and girls if you have any questions ask us on the in discord probably hopefully be able to answer you uh, i haven't been that active in answering and and helping people out right now because i i just have so much stuff to do so sorry about that to all of you who are running into problems but hopefully you'll find some help in the discord channel anyway thanks for watching Keep working hard, take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.